I'm pretty sure you have good habits with your money, but good habits is not enough. I'm telling you right now, you can be as good of a person as you want with your money. And you can have amazing, wonderful, good spending habits and saving habits and investing habits. That's all wonderful. But if you don't have a strategy to actually multiply, multiply and increase cash flow, you are simply not going to have enough. This is my warning to the millennial generation. This is my warning to the baby boomer generation that you're in your mid fifties or there's people in between the late millennials. I think they're in your like 35 and then there's a generation in between that if I'm not mistaken, Gen X. Yeah. 35. If I'm not mistaken. Um, you're getting crushed right now in your finances. You have to wake up. I'm, this is my warning. I'm waking you up. Okay. And there's other YouTubers out there exposing you to these misleading, ineffective financial strategies. They're great strategies. They're great in theory. I'm not, I'm not like denying it. I mean, but I'm looking at the results of what great looks like. And I am coming to the conclusion that it is ineffective, poor results. So you can have a great concept, a great idea, but it can produce terrible results. It's just like any entrepreneur that has a great business idea, right? If you're an entrepreneur listening, watching this, comment below, tell me how many great ideas you've had. They were great in theory and you executed on that great idea and it resulted in a terrible result. You get what I'm saying? So something can be great in theory, an idea, but terrible in result. Now, when it comes to creating cash flow, it is a great idea that produces phenomenal, infinite results. Let's take a look at the board. So we're going to be looking at which is faster, net worth or cash flow. Okay. Would you rather build a business to create $250,000 a year in cash flow per year? Or would you rather save and invest your way all the way to $6.25 million? in your retirement account, your 401k account, which is faster because the moment you realize which is the most logical answer to move with, I believe that your current strategy is going to flip. You're going to do a complete 180. Okay. It is so important to evaluate the great financial idea, the great financial strategies that you have been pitched by mommy and daddy and your uncle or your grandpa. Dave Ramsey. Really important to look at your personal finance. At the end of the day, it's your money. It's not Dave Ramsey's money. It's your money. You may be listening to a pastor that could be potentially guiding you in the wrong direction. My goal as Cousin D, the personal finance geek of the 21st century, is to simply run the numeros. Run the numbers, starting with your four major numbers. What's coming in? What's going out? How much debt obligation do you have and what's your free cash flow at the end of the month? And what can we do with that free cash flow to multiply it? I don't want to grow your money. I want to multiply the money. Multiply goes faster than grow, than growth, than rate of return. Okay. Do you agree with that? Comment below. Multiplication goes faster than addition, right? And growth and compound interest goes faster all day, every day. So let's look at it. 250,000 a year in cash flow or 6.25 million in a retirement account. Did you know that if you wanted to accumulate 6.25 million in your retirement account, you would have to save or invest. You'd have to invest $40,000 a year for 40 years, earning 10% with no losses in those 40 years. So factoring in no losses and without factoring in inflation and without factoring in fees in the account itself, you'd have to save $40,000 a year for 40 years. The average American barely has 500 to a thousand dollars in their savings account. So why did I say 6.25 million? Okay. I use that number to be able to generate from the 4% rule, $250,000 a year in income. Okay. Because here's the reality, folks, for those of you who are single moms, single dads, husband, wives, family, households, here's what's happening. 
the middle class is getting wiped out. We're literally gonna have rich and poor, nothing in between. That is what's happening, whether you like it or not. There used to be a time where making 60, 70, 80 grand was good money. That is nothing today. That is very little money today. Those of you who are living in poverty, making 10, 20 grand a year, right? Your poverty, poor, right? Lower class. I think middle class is when you start breaching like 50 and 60 and then up, if I'm not mistaken. What I tell all of my clients, wherever you're at, okay? I've dealt with people making as little as 20,000 a year. My whole thing is take that number, 20 grand a year, 30 grand a year, and multiply it by 10. That should be your goal to create, right? To go from 20,000 a year to 200,000 a year because the amount of time that it would take to accumulate any kind of money worth looking at. At that level, 20, 30, 40 grand a year, it's gonna take you 75 to 90 years to, to even save a couple hundred dollars a month to have anything worth looking at. And I'm being very hard because I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, the models that you're being given right now by your financial advisor talking about how to reach a million dollars, two million dollars, $1.5 million, that is garbage, that is nothing. A million dollars is nothing. It is little. I'm telling you, it sounds like a lot of money to someone that's making 20 grand a year. I used to be in that range, making 20 to 30 grand a year. Low class, below middle class, poor. I used to be in that. So $100,000 was a lot of money. $10,000 was a lot of money. $5,000 is a lot of money, but that is temporary, okay? That is short-lived. That is small think. A lot of money is dependent on the amount of cash flow that is left over after your cost of living, expenses, vacation, ex everything. After everything is spent, whatever is left over, cash flow, that is the true number that we should be looking to solve for. So solving for a million dollars. Two million dollars, three million, even six million dollars. All right, there's another reason why I use six point two five million dollars is because it's such a big number. It sounds like a big number to everyone watching here for the most part, but I'm gonna show you how little it really is at the end of the day, and why it's so important to focus on cash flow, creating cash flow vehicles over accumulating a net worth of a million to six million to however many million dollars. Like it's, it's not effective. I mean, I'm gonna show you why. So, coming back to the board. 6.25 million dollars you'd have to save 40,000 a year for 40 years at 10 percent compounded with no losses not accounting for fees not accounting for um, did i say losses already yeah so without accounting for losses or fees or inflation devaluation